in physics what we study we study the laws that govern the nature but to understand those laws we need the help of mathematics that's why we call mathematics is the language of physics here we are going to study this basic mathematics but not in depth in depth we are going to study in math in mathematics what we study up to the extent that is useful and enough to understand the concepts in physics and also to solve the problems in physics in easiest way and those topics are binomial theorem quadratic equation logarithms trigonometry straight lines differentiation maxima and minima the last one is integration let us see the first topic binomial theorem what do we learn in binomial theorem and why do we have to study this binomial theorem and where we are going to use this knowledge while solving problems let us see let me ask one question what is the expansion of a plus x whole square you know very well a plus x into a plus x that is equal to a square plus a into x plus x into a again a x plus x into x x square that is equal to a square plus 2 a x plus x square and again a plus x whole cube you know a plus x whole square into a plus x we can do like this and a plus x whole square is a square plus 2 a x plus x square into a plus x again then you can multiply this now my question is what is a plus x whole power 5 i have seen the students remember this formula and also they try to remember this formula but they don't know what is the formula of a plus x whole power 5 and uh, even it is very lengthy to multiply like this a plus x whole square into a plus x whole square into a plus x it is a very lengthy process and uh, again let me go for a plus x whole power some 59 it is you can't remember it the first difficulty and the second thing if you want to approach this method it is a very lengthy method it takes much time and if you go for a plus x whole power some 100 again you can't next a plus x whole power minus 1 you don't know a plus x whole power some minus 49 again you don't know and even you don't know the method how to expand it like this next a plus x whole power some minus 3 by 2 or 3 by 4 fraction or positive fraction or negative fraction a plus x whole power some 5 by 7 you don't know all these expansions the answer for all these questions is binomial theorem and one more thing second question my second question you know 1000 power 1 by 3 easily you can say it is 10 now my question is 
थौजेंड पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री हॉल पवर वन बै थ्री ना वाट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस एंड इट इज इवन डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू डू दिस कैलकुलेशन एंड इन सिंपल वे the answer for all these type of questions is binomial theorem it gives the answer for all these questions in simple way and uh, let me see what do you mean by binomial theorem and how we are going to answer all these questions with the help of binomial theorem the binomial theorem is a plus x whole power n now it expansion n c 0 a power n x power 0 plus n c 1 a power n minus 1 x power 1 plus n c 2 a power n minus 2 x square plus n c 3 a power n minus 3 x cube plus and so on. We call n c 0, n c 1, n c 2, n c 3 and so on or binomial quotients. And let me write the, let me write a formula how to calculate binomial coefficient. If it is NCR, so this value is N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial, where R value is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to N. That means, Suppose if it is nc0, I can write n factorial by wherever r is present, I have to write 0. n minus 0 factorial into 0 factorial. nc1 is equal to n factorial by n minus 1 factorial into 1 factorial. nc2 is equal to n factorial by n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial. nc3 is equal to n factorial by n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. And uh, how to calculate these factorial values? And here, if it is 0 factorial, its value is equal to 1. If it is 1 factorial, its value is equal to again 1. If it is 2 factorial, its value is 2 into 1. 3 factorial, 3 into 2 into 1. And 4 factorial, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Means start from 4 up to 1. 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And one more thing, 5 into... 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Can I write it as 4 factorial? Yes. We can write it as 4 factorial. Or 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. I can write as 3 factorial. Into 3 factorial. Again, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, I can write it as 2 factorial. That is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial. Like this. That means 5 factorial can be written as 5 into reduce the number by 1 and write a factorial. Or 5 into 4 into next you write down 3 factorial. Like this, n factorial we can write as n into reduce it by 1. n minus 1 factorial. Again, n minus 1 factorial, we can write it as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. 
again n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial we can write it as n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial. So by using this knowledge let us calculate the binomial coefficients and you may ask me one question sir what is the proof for this theorem I already told you the proof of this theorem we are going to study in mathematics that too with the help of mathematical induction but what I told you we are going to study the mathematical part only that is enough to understand the concepts in physics so here n factorial by n minus 0 factorial 0 n factorial 0 factorial is again 1 into 1 n factorial n factorial cancel it is 1 n factorial if I can write n factorial in terms of n minus 1 factorial so that I can cancel it. So how to n factorial I can write it as n into n minus 1 factorial. So n into n minus 1 factorial by n minus 1 factorial and 1 factorial is again 1 that is n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial cancel it is equal to n. Now n factorial I am writing in terms of n minus 2 factorial so that I can cancel n minus 2 factorial. So n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial by n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial I can write it as 2 into 1 that is equal to 2. So n minus 2 n minus 2 factorial cancel n into n minus 1 by 2 in the same way n minus n factorial I am writing in terms of n minus 3 factorial by using this n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial by n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 that is equal to 6 so n minus 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial cancel you will be getting n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 6 and let me write down these coefficients in this equation. So nc0 I can write it as 1, 1 into a power n x power 0 is again 1 so it is a power n plus nc1 is it is n, n into a power n minus 1 into x plus nc2 is n into n minus 1 by 2 into a power n minus 2 x square plus nc3 is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 6 into a power n minus 3 x cube plus and so on.